Nuggets. What's that? The Denver Nuggets. Yeah, Matt, I saw a story the other day that said Matt Ryan signed the Denver Nuggets. I didn't see that, man. I didn't see it. It was somebody else, huh? <laughs> I can shoot back in the day. Sarah might have Yeah, I, my wife is a better basketball player than I am for sure. <laughs> hey, Matt, did, did I, um, you all figure something out in those last two drives there? Uh, I know y'all wanted to be more consistent, but that was the, probably the biggest, uh, other than the opening two of Philly, the best stretch for you guys. Yeah, I mean, I, I just thought um, – we, we executed the way that we're capable of there at the end. And, um, you know, I think w if we can do that more consistently, you know, that, that's going to bode well for us. So um, hopefully we can use some of that momentum uh, this week and, and, and try and, you know, play that type of way, consistent, efficient, and uh, confident. And, and uh, you know, if we can do that, I think we're capable of, of you know, being a good offense. And Calvin said that, uh, you know, y'all are still – trying to figure out how to move the ball and how teams are trying to uh, play you all is a big part of that. Where is that process at and how do y'all move forward with how teams are trying to play you all? Yeah, I think, you know, every year, uh, you, you know, even when you have a lot of the same guys, every team is different. And, you know, your identity and, and who you become is different. It takes some time to, uh, you know, sort through that. And things change with injuries and, and things like that. With Russ being out last week, we had to do some different things. And so... Um, you know, I, I, I think that we're growing towards who we want to become. You know, we're not there. We got, a, we got a lot of work, a lot of hard work in front of us to get there. But, um, you know, we're working towards that. And then as far as how defenses are playing us, you know, it, it's a small sample size. You know, a couple of weeks, small sample size. But there's, um, you know, certainly looks that we've seen that, you know, with zone coverage and different things like that, that we can be, you know, more effective than we've been up until this point. Do you, kind of following out a little bit, do, you, do teams usually do this to you in the beginning of the beginning of years, like in the years past, or is this a change for how teams are defending you early in the season? I mean, it, it, it's it's different with every team you play uh, and who, who you're playing early in years. You know, it was a new staff that we faced the first week, so you didn't really know what to expect going into that. Uh, and then, you know, a staff that's been together for a while uh, in the second week. And so, I mean, I think every year is different. Uh, I think every team, you know, that, that I've been on, even with the same coaches, are different, you know, and so it takes some time to shake out. But um, I think each year is unique. And when it comes to just kind of not being able to really push the ball down the field, is there a point where you almost have to just kind of take shots, even if they're there, to keep defenses honest? No. You know, I don't think there's a lot of merit to, you know, throwing the ball in there when it's when it's a bad look. You know, I think we've got guys that uh, have proven, you know, that you can create explosive way uh, plays in, in different ways, whether that be throwing the ball down the field, whether it be, you know, a slip screen or something like that, throwing it a couple of yards and, and letting your guys make plays. Uh, I think we got to continue to, you know, work at it. And when we get our opportunities where we get looks that, you know, are advantageous for us, we got to let it rip and go make a place. Allison? I know we're somewhat joking about the word belief here, but how much, how important was it to get a win this early this season compared to last year when you were on a five-game skid and now to kind of show these guys that the work you're putting in is paying off and you can win? Well, I think it's good, but I, I also think there's a lot of new people in the building too from last year and, and a lot of different players, different coaches. And so... Um, you know, I, th I think you want to create collective belief in this unit and what we're doing and, you know, how we're putting things together from Arthur and Terry and, and uh, you know, what their vision is. I think uh, winning ball games obviously, you know, is, is the, the best thing you can do to, to kind of create that belief. And, um, but I think it's been good. You know, I think the buy-in's been really good from the start. And, uh, you know, the new guys that we brought in, the guys that have been here before are all trying to, you know, come together and be the best we can be. You talked about explosive plays. What's your assessment of Cordero Patterson through the first three games in this offense? I think he's done a great job. You know, I think, you know, whether it be running the football for us or uh, catching the ball out of the backfield or really, you know, changing the game in special teams uh, with the way, you know, teams account for kicking to him and different things that they'll do. I mean, he's, uh, he's made a huge impact for us, and, and I think he's done a great job. And, 
Um, you know, I've, uh, I've really enjoyed playing with him the first three weeks. How important do you think he's become now? Yeah, he's, he's really important. You know, um, we, we, you know, ask him to do a lot of things. Uh, we ask a lot of guys to do a lot of different things, and, and he's certainly one of them. But, you know, I think he's an important piece of, of us being a good offense and, and good team moving forward. Josh? How often or what's the percentage of the looks you get each week that you were expecting to get in terms of your game plan? Or does that vary wildly from game to game? Uh, it depends on the week. I mean, so, some teams are uh, very game plan specific. Some defenses that you go against, uh, you know, might might look like one thing one week and very different the next week. You know, they're, they're very specific to the opponent they're going against where you play other teams. Um, that are who they are, you know, and, and, and they kind of do what they do. And, um, you know, so I think you kind of know that going into it um, with the opponent you're going against and the track record of the coordinator. Uh, but there's always, you know, even even with that said, there's always a few things, you know, in a game that they've planned for you that you got to account for. What's the key to having success when you see those looks that you just didn't put into your, your plan that week? Well, I think it's about – it's about staying on your side of the ball. When you get looks or, you know, a coverage or a front or something that, you know, we, we didn't necessarily prepare for, it's about knowing the rules of the offense inside and out and, and trusting those rules in those kind of situations. And, uh, you know, that's something that we can continue to improve on as the year goes on. How much of a grasp does this group have on the rules for this offense, do you think, collectively? Yeah, I think it's pretty good, you know, and I think it's getting better. Uh, you know, we're, we're not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. We've got to get better for sure. But, um, you know, I think for the most part, you know, guys have, have been on top of that. Justin, Pat, can you kind of dig into the old <coughs> notes of facing a Ron Rivera defense for, for this week? Yeah, a couple, you know, Ron Rivera, Jack Del Rio. You know, this is a lot of guys that, you know, I saw at different points throughout my career. And um, both really good defensive coaches. They get their guys to play hard and physical. Uh, they're very stout up front, you know, good, really good defensive line, athletic linebackers, good in the back end. So a uh, team that had a lot of success last year and, you know, was um, very physical and tough. And uh, that's always kind of been the hallmarks of Ron's defenses when I played against him in Carolina and certainly, you know, Jack's defenses in Oakland and in Jacksonville. Sure. Oh, I'm, what have you seen from Matt Hennessy in his first – you guys are obviously a little league is there of the middle against Tampa Bay and then to go to the, the game against the New York Giants and, and have that solid, like that solid pocket between guard, between guard and guard. Yeah, I think, you know, he, he's getting better. Um, you know, he's a guy that, you know, played a little bit for us at the end of the year last year, which I thought was helpful for him. And, uh, you know, again, though, with it being a new system, um, you know, there's, there's a – just a process of getting comfortable, you know, and, and, and settling in. And I think he's, you know, I think he's improved every week. And that's what we need to see from, from him, from myself, from all our guys is, is you know, gradual and, and consistent improvement as the year goes on. And I certainly think Matt has done that the first couple of weeks. How hard is it for a tight end to come in and be productive in the NFL? Oh, it's a tough position. You know, there's, there's no doubt about it. I think those guys are asked to do you know, a lot, uh, whether it be in the pass game, uh, run game, pass protection, uh, you know, playing multiple different positions for us, different spots, you know, in, in, in our letters, whether, you know, it's Y, F, Z, different, you know, places that they have to play, they have to learn a lot. Uh, and, you know, it's, it's, um, it's one of those things, I think, you know, I'm assuming you're asking about Kyle, so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> You know, I think he's done a good job. Uh, he's warranted, you know, respect on the other side of the ball from, from people. Uh, and that's one thing, you know, I've noticed early on in the first couple of weeks is that there's, you know, a plan uh, for him and, and where he's at. And so uh, he's just got to continue to stay patient. I think, you know, my message to him is, you know, the ball finds different guys at different times. And sometimes it comes in, you know, flurries. You know, you just – it hits you, and all of a sudden you got a game with nine, ten catches, something like that. And so, you know, I think uh, he'll just continue to chip away, get better, like he's been doing, work really hard, and uh, he made critical plays for us at the end of the game. I mean, those are game-winning plays, and that's what you want from from guys like that. Do you feel like he's that's kind of getting to him that he's not being? I don't. Yeah, you know, I think his I think his attitude's been great. You know, I think uh, he's competitive. He's 
you know, unselfish, puts the team first, and, you know, just wants to go out there and make plays to help us win. And that's the vibe he's put out there the entire time. I love it. Chris, uh, did, you, did you know you hit the 350 passing touchdown mark during the game, or when did you find out? Uh, not in, I guess not until after, um, after the game. Um, again, you know, it's, it's a cool, a very cool, um, you know, number to hit. I'm hoping there's, I'm hoping there's quite a few more in there, uh, and, and we can keep that going. But, um, I'm proud of, you know, being at this point in my career and, you know, being able to do it for this long, but I didn't know until after the game. It seems like, you know, doing this every week now with the milestones for you, does it, does it mean anything to you? Like, does it, does it get any less significant or more like each week or? No, I, you know, it's, uh, you know, it, it, you kind of compartmentalize, right? Like um, the most important thing right now is winning football games and, and, you know, trying to do whatever I can do um, to help our team win. And at the same time, I'm very proud of, you know, what I've accomplished throughout the duration of my career. And, um, you know, so I'm proud of it, but I, 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 don't, I don't spend a lot of time thinking about it. You know, I, I really don't. I spend, a, you know, all of my mental energy you know, into trying to help, you know, trying to do my part to help us win games. And um, I've always felt like, you know, if you take that approach, the other stuff kind of falls into line. Uh, Man, how would you describe the chemistry between Zakia, Zakia Smith and Sharp? Of course, some guys that had a little bit different roles this game with Gage being up. Yeah, I thought Alameda did a great job for us. You know, had a couple of, you know, I remember the catch he had over the middle in the red zone where he got drilled. And for him to, you know, pop up, you know, make that catch, that was huge for us, put us in really good position. Uh, did a great job on the touchdown catch that he had. Uh, I just thought he stepped up and, and, you know, I was proud of his effort. And Tajay, you know, you mentioned him. I thought, I thought he converted one of the biggest third downs of the game for us uh, in a spot where he hadn't had a target for the day. And he's about number four in the progression right there and wins on his route. And, um, you know, that was, that was huge for us. It kept the drive going and, and, and was big for, for our momentum. Um, you know, you can't undervalue the, the role that those guys play. I mean, they're, they're huge, huge plays in the game for us. Uh, and neither of those guys blinked when their number was called to go make a play. Last game against the Giants, there were some things that you wish you would have did better, but a win is a win. What things do you take from that game and bring it into this one if you guys plan to be victorious? Well, I think, you know, I think the way we finished the game was good. You know, the end, end of the fourth quarter uh, was productive for us. I think we can be better at the end of the half, uh, protect the ball better, and try and come away with points there. You know, they're, they're huge situations um, to take advantage of. And then, you know, hopefully, you know, we can be more consistent for four quarters. I think, you know, the good has been good, but we haven't been good enough. And so if we can just uh, continue to, to be a little bit more consistent, that's going to help us out. Man, after 14 years, you developed a lot of fans. And I mean, obviously, in this area, Taylor Ryan, he played here. Have you met him yet? What's it be like when a guy comes up to you and says, I remember you as a kid playing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what, I guess it's, it's a little strange and it's a little flattering, but... Um, I've been impressed with him. He's tough, you know, really tough. And, and uh, you know, he, he's a guy that's, that's earned everything that's come his way. And uh, he's gone out there. He's played fearless. He's played hard. Uh, and I think he's improved the more he's gotten to play. And so I have a lot of respect for him and what he's done so far. Do you remember him at Collins Hill or do you remember him? I, was, uh, I had heard of him, but I, I, I'm pretty sure I never saw him play. I want to go back to what you were saying about Kyle and defense is already kind of being well aware of his skill set, what he does, where he is on the field. I mean, looking back over the last 14 years, is there a player that has either come through here offensively or a defensive guy that y'all face that you kind of immediately zoned in on this early in a career? Uh, Played with a pretty good one at wide receiver before that made a pretty big impact when he came in and Julio, you know, that, that defenses were aware of and, and you know, his skill set. Um, I'm trying to think of early players that I played with. That, those would probably be, you know, the two um, from a skill position standpoint. And uh, that's probably it. Josh? Tori, actually. Okay, that's a good question. <laughs> it was. Uh,
Washington does, and also when they've got a box safety like Adam Collins. What benefit is there to maybe try to do more play action early in the game? To kind of, does that help balance out maybe some of that pressure and some of that rush? Yeah, I think, you know, I, I think keeping them off schedule is the key. You know, whether it be having to defend the run, you mentioned play action, getting the ball out of your hand, max protecting, five man protecting, doing all kinds of different things, you know, just to, to kind of keep them off balance. I think uh, there are lots of different ways to do it. Um, and I've done it lots of different ways throughout my career. We'll, uh, we'll put together a plan this week and, and kind of see what is the best for us. But I think there's lots of ways to do it. Is there a benefit, and I start with this, too, to having faced Philly and Tampa, who also are very, very, in some cases, dominant fronts early on for the line? Is there, do you think there's a benefit to that? Versus there's always benefit against, you know, going against really good football teams. It's a measuring stick for where you're at and where you need to improve. Uh, and when you play against good players, you know, especially for a lot of our young guys, um, you know, it's a great opportunity to grow. And so, you know, I think there has been growth. We've played some good defensive fronts this season, and I think there's been growth. Just time for one more, Justin. Uh, so, Arthur talked after the game about guys getting second chances instead of making a quick change. Jalen Mayfield, you know, it's a tough game one. He's played better. He's pointed at Cameron Isaac, a tough game, and really excels against the Giants. When you guys see that, a guy getting a second chance, a coach not making a quick change, what does it say to the veterans on the team? Well, I think it, you know, we, we preach constant, you know, growth and, and daily improvement. And, uh, you know, there, there's a sense of urgency for sure, um, but there's, a, you know, a commitment to allowing guys to develop and to grow. And, and we need that across the board. And so, um, you know, I, I think Art's done a great job of managing that, you know, let, letting guys develop and continue to, to get better as, as they move along in their career, but also demanding them to, to try and be at their very best at the time. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.